Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric again, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time checking us out. Look at this, check out this Prevo. I love Prevos. Prevo H345. H is a model, three axle, 45 footer. There you go, I'll just break it down for you right there, right out of the gate. I'll tell you what, ooh, look at these Prevos over here. Uh, yeah, some more H345s over there. La Mirage XL2. I tell you what, I love Prevos, and well, I've probably said that before, but anyhow, I just love motor coaches. So here we go. I got MCIs in stock, Prevos in stock, Van Hools in stock, anyways. I'm already getting derailed. Let's check out the interior on this. Well, all right, there we go. 2000 Prevo H345. Little curb lighting going on right there, LEDs no less. Uh, check out the step just come in, showing a fair amount of use right here. Peeling up a little bit as well here in the corners. Uh, I think that's kind of expected. So, again, it's 2000. It is showing a fair amount of use right here. The other step well coming up as well. Uh, driver's seat upholstery is in really good shape. Looks like air ride driver's seat. Man, I'm not seeing, I, I'm gonna, I gotta say, recent, recent seat covers all the way through this coach. You're not gonna be disappointed with the interior, the uh, upholstery as well. And over here, REI video system, REI deck right there. Uh, a, a driver and passenger heat and AC climate control. Let's check it out. There we go. Heat and AC, climate control, AM, FM, CD player right there. A little courtesy horn here. Yeah, it's a bit anemic, I know, but check this one out. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love it. I love air horns anyhow. Check out the power. Oh, shoot. Doggone it. I was going to say it's got power mirrors to switches there, but it's not working. Please keep in mind, uh, this coach has not been through our shop yet. So, just trying to get them online. I got a number of Prevos in stock. H345s, XL2s you can see over there. Look at those babies. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, while I'm looking at the windows, keep in mind, Thermopane windows, dual pane windows. This is a cold weather coach. Prevo for up north. I mean, a Primo Prevo for up north up there in Canada. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, it work awesome for that. So I know you Canadians, I know you guys like Prevos. We like them down here too. So uh, anyhow, air brake over there. Uh, Allison B500 with a Jake. Check it out, Allison 6-speed B500 with a Jake. I have not driven this coach personally, so I'm not sure exactly if the Jake works, but again, let me mention, oh, look at that e-model coming in right there. There's Patty, Patty! He doesn't even know he's on YouTube right now, I'll tell you what. Anyways, uh, look at that e-model, I love e-models. Mm. So, uh, where was I <clears throat> before I got so rudely interrupted there? Let's uh, check out the windshields. You can see some cracking going on here in the upper windshields. Also got some cracks down low here in the driver's side windshield as well. Can you see it right there? A little bit going on. So keep in mind, I've said it before, this has not been through the shop yet. I hate to, I hate pointing out the infirmities on these coaches, but you know, it. I, I gotta shoot you straight. So just trying to represent it as best I can for what it is. So, uh, yeah. It's got the updated interior. I think they went to this in either 99 or 2000 where uh, Prevo kind of uh, switched around the, the uh, dash interior, driver's side, or driver's area a little bit. Gives, got, has a little more modern feel to it. Check out the passenger upholstery. As I mentioned, the upholstery is tip top through this baby. National, no, that is not national seating. I take that back. These are actual Prevo seats. Daggum. Reclining, high back. Reclining right here, high back. Passenger seats with headrest, armrest, and footrest right down here. Check it. There we go. Prevo seats. A lot of these coaches have nationals. Seems like most of them have nationals from my experience. Some have Americans. These are Prevo. Prevo did put their own seats in a number of their coaches. So, enclosed overhead parcel racks. Looking pretty. Man, the floor is tip top also. Really like the floor. I'm not showing a whole lot of wear and tear on the floor and it might be safe to say that the floor has been replaced at one time don't hold me to it I do not know but there is evidence that the whole interior has been redone she's looking really good it's got four TVs going through it the one up top there 
is not working in the center all the way down above the driver there. I hate to say it again, has not been through the shop. If that's something you're worried about, we can definitely take care of that for you. And restroom here in the rear, uh, flush toilet and sink. Look at that, vanity mirror, oh yeah. Uh, okay, let's see, uh, big tour style windows with tent, emergency roof hatchet right above me there, front and rear. Now, I also want to point out on these H345s, it's got the bonded windows on the outside. Dang gum. Kind of like those E4500s that I mentioned earlier that I have in stock, the E4500s with the bonded windows. Can't see the frames from the outside. Really gives it a tight look. All right, let's cruise around our outside. Oh, cubby hole right underneath here. Look at that. A couple of jockey boxes up here. Oh, yeah, look. One over there as well. Anyhow, uh, look at that. Prevo H345. This is Prevo's flagship coach right here. Can't go wrong with an H345. They also make an H340. Oh, no, I take that back. They're not making the H340 anymore. Let's check out the tire tread here. They're not making the H340 anymore. That was actually replaced by the uh, H341, which is actually 41 feet long. In case you're wondering. New exterior paint here. Look at that. I'll tell you a tight looking coach. Oh, there's those bonded windows I mentioned. Let me open up these uh, luggage compartments. As I said, they're not making the H340 anymore. It was replaced by the H341, and I think that was ooh, LED midship lighting. I think the 41 came out in 95, 96, I think, is when they DC'd the uh, H340. So replaced it with a 41 footer. I love Prevos. Here we go, fuel door right in here. Oh, doggone it. It's locked. Uh, anyhow, check out this rear. You got four full-on, I mean, full-blown, doggone, pass-through, under-floor storage. You could fit, jeez, you could fit pertinent or anything in those things. H345s are known for the storage. I'm not sure there's another coach out there that has this much storage. The E4, or the EL3, Z4500s, they, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm kind of splitting hairs now, but I digress once again. So, check out the Four complete pass-through uh, storage areas. Look at that. Good tread there on the drive tires. And let's look underneath her a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. Now I'd love to tell you this has been uh, a Pacific Northwest bus its whole life, but I just don't know. So just trying to shoot you straight. Look at that tag axle tread there, looking pretty good. Also, look at the undercarriage here a bit. There we go. Can't really see it here. It's kind of dark. Don't have a whole lot of daylight today. Pardon me for that. So, uh, battery box right in here. I'd open it up, but I need the key. It's inside. Battery's in there. Master switch as well. Uh, you can see dump valve there for the restroom. Uh, air compressor. AC compressor, already got the back open, it takes two hands, so I had to do that before. LED clearance lights up top, LED brake lights, turn signals, the whole shooting match, check it. Detroit Diesel, Series 60, 12.7. Love it, look at that. Yeah, buddy. New exterior paint as well. Rubber looks good. Also, bonded windows. See that? Check it. I love the bonded windows. The only thing this doggone coach is lacking is the Alcoa's. Moving the rims. Look, not but the steel, pardon me. Uh, I do have one in stock. I think it's already on the website that does have uh, uh, aluminum wheels on it. Man, it's a sharp looking coach. Anyhow, much like this one. Bonded windows, LED midship clearance lights, front and rear all the way around. Let's check out the tire tread here. On the tag axle on the driver's side. There we go. And also on the driver's side drive tires. She's knee deep in tread, front and rear, in the middle, you name it. Anyhow, good looking coach. So, 
Oh, tire tread up here as well. Check it. There we go. Okay. Ooh, maybe I can open up. Oh, doggone, it's hot. I'm gonna give you a little demo underneath there, but guess not. So, once again, 2000 Prevo H345. 56 passengers. Keep in mind, as I mentioned, it hasn't been through the shop yet, so it might have it might have its its you know its shortcomings, but bear with us. My shop is all backed up right now with sold buses. I'll tell you what, we can't hardly keep up with it. I'm short on guys. Anyways, look at all these buses. Shuttle buses. I'm actually pretty short on shuttle buses right now. We can't hardly keep them in stock. But Prevo H345s, La Mirage XLs, E's, D's, D DLs, I mean MC12s, MC9s, A3s. Uh, Van Hool C2045s, commercial buses, school buses, you name it. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble once again. I think that'll do it. Check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call any questions. 800-231-7099. Thanks.